Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am sharing two different looks with you guys with the new Wet n Wild Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon collection. I got sent a PR box not too long ago with all of these amazing new products and I'm so excited to share it with you guys because number one, Wet n Wild is a super affordable drugstore brand and they're also vegan and cruelty free, so why not? I'm super excited to play around with these colors, so if you want to find out how to get both of these looks, then just keep on watching. So starting with the fire side of this collection, there are two different eyeshadows to choose from and this fit for a queen one with the more reddish burgundy shades are the ones that like those are the colors I would typically use. But I decided to step outside my comfort zone and go with Dragon Scales which has green eyeshadows and if you know me, I, I don't like wearing green eyeshadow. like. It's just not my cup of tea. So that's why I decided to use this to just kind of step outside my comfort zone a little bit. So I'm starting with the eyelid color, which is like this mossy green, and I'm using that in my crease as the transition shade. And then I'm gonna go in with the crease color, which is the dark emerald green in here. And I'm blending that on the outer corner of my eye and then also moving it towards the crease or like the center of my crease as well. But really focusing the deepness of that color on the outer part of my eye. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take the brow bone highlight color and just pop that right on. I love that their little eyeshadow quads, it has like the names of where the colors belong. So it kind of acts as a guide if you don't really know where to place the eyeshadows. So moving on, they came out with these color icon pigments and I wanted to use these to still incorporate kind of the fire aspect of this look. So I'm starting out with Fire Rain, which is like the more reddish burgundy color. And I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and I am wetting the brush so that these pop more and they're like super vibrant. And I'm placing that on the outer half of my eyelid area. And now with the more golden shade Gilded Crown, I'm going to take that pigment and again, wetting my brush and I'm placing that on the inner half of my eyelid. And I really like how it turned out these two colors mixed in with the green in the crease. I think it looks really pretty and it's like so perfect for fall. And then I'm gonna take that dark green crease color again and just freshen up the crease color by blending that back and forth. And then with a smaller pencil brush, I'm gonna take that same green crease color and drag that onto my lower lash line just to round out this eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna go off camera, just quickly finish up my eyes with some mascara and then put on my face makeup. So now we are back and we can go ahead and add some bronzer. And the bronzer I'm using is called Queensland from the Wet n Wild Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon collection, of course. Uh, I love that there's a dragon actually like kind of stamped into the bronzer. And I'm using the Wet n Wild bronzing brush that came with this collection and it blends out the bronzer so, so beautifully. I love this brush so much. If you had to get one thing, I would highly recommend the bronzers and this brush. It's just, it's iconic, it's awesome. And I know the highlighters are technically part of the Ice Dragon collection, but I wanted to use one of them for this look, so I'm using the shade Glow Watcher, and I'm using the highlight brush that is also in this collection, and just popping that on my cheekbones. These highlighters are blinding. They are so bright and pigmented, and I can't believe how affordable they are. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fit For Queen eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking the brow bone color. It has some pinky tones to it, and I'm just popping that on right on top of like where I placed my highlight, just to warm up the highlight a little bit more so it wasn't so icy, so that way it ties in a little bit better with this Fire Dragon look. So on the fire side of this collection, there are three different lip colors to choose from and I wanted to try to use all of them with this look. So I'm first starting off with the Liquid Catsuit Metallic Lipstick in Reddings. So this is the more reddish burgundy color and I'm using this on the outer perimeter of my lips. And then with the more orange bronzy shade, this is called Queen's Blood. I'm applying that right in the center of the lip and I really like how these two look together, but not done yet. I'm going to actually top it off with the shade Flames of Glory, which is this really pretty like white kind of topper that you put on top and it just gives this like super glossy metallic look. I at first wanted to start by just applying it on the center, but I liked it so much that I applied it all over the lips. 
So that's it for this fire dragon look. I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. I really, really like it and I think it's so perfect for fall, which is just right around the corner. So if you do get your hands on this collection, be sure to try out this look. Moving on to the ice dragon look now, I decided to go with the mythic cool creatures eyeshadow palette because it had the fun colors in there. So I'm starting off with the transition color in here and just blending that in my crease for some slight definition. And then moving on, I'm going to take the crease color, which is this really, really pretty blue color, but for some reason it shows up as like a soft black color. So I was a little bummed out with the color payoff on this particular shade. But anyways, we're going to still make this work and we're going to, we're going to create a cool look still. So I decided to start in the crease and blend it like on the outer part. But then I just decided to drag it all the way to the inner corner and so I basically just put this color all throughout the crease like evenly. It just took me a while but I basically that's what I did. But I'm really wanting a blue color and that's where the pigment comes in. This is in Two Nights Blue, like nights, like Two Nights Blue. <laughs> and I am taking that on a flat shader brush and of course I did wet the brush before applying. And oh my gosh, this blue is like exactly what I was looking for. It is so, so pretty. And I absolutely love blue eyeshadow with my orange hair. I, I just think it complements it very well. So I'm placing this all over the lid, focusing on the outer part of the eye, but then slowly dragging it, like kind of feathering it in towards the inner, co inner corner because we are going to place another color there on top. But I just wanted to lightly place that blue on the inner part of my eye. I'm just going to quickly touch up the crease color a little bit and then moving on I am taking the highlighter powder in Halo Walkers. This is a pretty blue highlighter. I just I realized I wasn't brave enough to try and use this highlighter on my face so I decided to use it on my eyes instead. So I'm using this as my inner corner highlight but also placing it on the inner part of my lid just to brighten up the eyes and add a little bit more dimension and like different shades of blue. So going back to the Mythical Creatures eyeshadow palette, I'm taking the brow bone highlight and placing that right on my brow bone. And then I'm also going to take that blue loose pigment again and I'm using that on my lower lash line to round out the eyes. And I really wanted to use this purple eyeshadow. I think it's so, so pretty in the palette, but I just can't seem to get it to actually show up like on swatches or on my brush. But I tried to pick it up on a pencil brush and use it on the inner half of my lower lash line, but it honestly didn't show up. I'm like so sad. The colors in this palette are so pretty, but I just don't think the color payoff was as like successful as the palettes from the fire side. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, I decided to get a little crafty here. I wanted to use one of the liquid lipsticks as my eyeliner. So I'm taking the blue shade. This is called Icing on the Wall. And I'm taking that on an angled brush and I'm just going to line my eyes and create a wing. And surprisingly, this worked great on the eyes. You had to layer it a little bit because there was like some parts that were a little sheer, but um, it was super easy to layer on and I think it looks so, so awesome. So I was really happy with this. So now I'm going to finish up with some lashes and then my face makeup and then we can move on to the rest of this look. Ta-da! So for bronzer, I decided to go with the shade You're Dragging Me Down, which I love. Out of all three of the bronzers, I think this is my shade. I just absolutely love how it looked on my skin and how it blended out. This brush, you guys, this brush is amazing. Um, so I'm just applying that to my cheekbones, the temples, and my jawline, and a little bit on my nose. But I'm obsessed with this color. I think it just warms up my face so, so nicely. It's just really flattering. So you're dragging me down. That's my favorite. So now moving on to the three different highlighters that came in this collection. We used the blue one already on the eyes, and I used Glow Watcher earlier. So I'm going to try Winter Falls in LA, which looks white in the pan, but I love how this has like this really pretty iridescence, like this blue shine underneath. It's so, so pretty, and it just complements this look so well. So definitely love the highlighters as well. So now here are the three different lip colors that they came out with. I knew I wasn't going to use the brown, so I think I'm going to stick with the blue and like the frosty color. So 
Starting with the blue shade, this is the same one we used for eyeliner. This is again called icing on the wall. I'm using this and applying it all over my lips. And then once I have that done, I'm going to top it off with wild blings. And this color is just so, so pretty. It's not like the other topper from the Fire Collection because this one definitely is more icy and blue, but it looks so, so gorgeous on top of this color, you guys. It's so pretty over that blue. I'm obsessed. So that completes this Ice Dragon look. I love how this turned out. Again, I'm a huge fan of blue because it just looks great against my orange hair, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Which look did you like better, the Fire Dragon or the Ice Dragon? I'm kind of obsessed with both, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. And if you're interested in checking out this collection, I will have links down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!